Hey everyone, welcome back to the Easy Tech Tutorial. Today I'm showing you five hidden but super cool features on your brand new Samsung S25 Ultra that will completely change how you use your phone. So whether it's customizing your lock screen or organizing your notification like a pro, these tips are going to make your phone experience smoother, smarter, and more fun. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any Easy Tech tips. I'm on a mission to hit 1000 subscribers and your support makes all the difference. So let's grow this tech family together. So feature number one is your lock screen animation. So your Samsung S25 Ultra comes with a customizable lock screen animation that lets you give your phone a more dynamic and a personal feel. So whether it's ripple, zoom or slide, the unlock animation now adds a beautiful transition every time you unlock your device. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app search for good lock. In the good lock app, we'll go ahead and tap on plugins. And here we'll go ahead and tap on Wonderland plugin. Now here we'll go ahead and tap on create your different lock screen effect. We'll go ahead and tap on new. We'll go ahead and choose a picture from our gallery. So let's go ahead and choose this crow here. Tap on close. And now we can go ahead and choose our effect. So we can go ahead and choose our CRT effect, the pixelate effect, ripple, warp, edge, blur, hexagon effect, slide effect, flip, slide, and fluid. So I like the slice effect, I press close, and then we can go ahead and configure this. So if you want it fast or slow, the tile size, and then the direction. Now we can go ahead and see a preview of it. So now once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and tap on save save again, and then go ahead and tap on set as lock screen wallpaper. Now we'll go ahead and tap home when we lock our screen. So you'll see that effect on your lock screen. So like this, I have already created so many effects. So it basically adds a premium and a polished feel to your daily phone use. It personalizes your phone's lock screen experience, and it makes even unlocking your phone more satisfying. So your second feature is your raining notification effect. So this feature adds a raining effect whenever you receive a notification, like drops falling from the top of the screen. It's subtle, but visually striking and makes notification feel more interactive. So here's an example. When you get a notification, you'll see a raining notification. So you have WhatsApp. So I have WhatsApp icon raining down my screen. If I get a notification from my normal message, you'll see message icon raining down on my screen. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Edge Lighting Plus. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on Set Custom Style. Turn the feature on, and here you can go ahead and choose what style you want. So you can go ahead and choose your own photo from your gallery, or you can go ahead and choose from the stock images. Next, you can go ahead and choose colors. So you can choose a different color, advanced, and you can choose the effect. So you can have the raindrop effect. You can do a snowflake effect, the cloud effect, stars, bubbles, circle, heart effect, popcorn effect, zoom in effect. And then if you want to go ahead and customize this even more, you can go ahead and choose different sizes. You can choose a period, amount, and rotation. I really like the raindrop effect. Go ahead and make this a bit medium, long, and now I can go ahead and tap on done. And now my animation has been set. If you want to show the app icon instead of your custom style image, you can go ahead and turn this feature on. So if you turn this feature on, you'll see animations from the app itself. So if you get a notification on from WhatsApp, you'll see WhatsApp icons. If you have notification from the Twitter, you'll see the Twitter icon. For now, I just wanna see my custom image. So now here, if I go ahead and receive a notification, you'll see that effect appear on screen. So this is visually engaging without being too distracting. It lets you know when a new notification arrives at a glance and it's great for people who like unique effects instead of just basic vibration or just ringtone. Now your second feature is how you can combine notification and the quick panel menu on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So as you know, on One UI 7, when you go ahead and swipe down from the left, you get your notification bar. When you swipe down from the right, you get your quick panel menu. Now let's say you want both of these items together. 
So if, if you're tired of switching between these notification and quick panel settings, with the S25 Ultra, you can basically merge your notification panel and quick settings panel into one fluid swipe down interface. So it basically makes it faster and more intuitive. So let me show you how to do this. First, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on the pencil icon here, then tap on panel settings. And now from here, you'll see separate and together. Go ahead and choose together. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on home. And now when you go ahead and swipe anywhere, you basically get your quick panel menu and your notification panel all in one. To access a more detailed view of the quick panel menu, go ahead and swipe down one more time and you'll see your quick panel menu. If you wanna customize what you see at the top of your quick panel menu, so say for example, the most commonly used buttons, you can go ahead and swap them in your settings. So this basically saves you time when checking both alerts and toggles. It streamlines the swipe down menu for better multitasking and it's ideal for quick access on the go without diving into settings. Now feature number four is where you can expand and shrink folders. So you can now expand or shrink folders right on the home screen. So when you tap on a folder, it basically opens in full screen. However, you can go ahead and expand this so that you can easily click on that app within that folder. So it's smoothly expanded to show all the apps inside and you can basically collapse it just as easily. So here's an example. If you have a folder with all the apps, you can go ahead and tap on this and this basically opens up in full screen. However, now there's an option where you can expand this to only show a certain amount of the folder. And from there, you can go ahead and open the apps. So to do this, go ahead and long press on that folder, then tap on enlarge. And as you can see, it has now enlarged it. So now you can go ahead and choose the app and go ahead and open it. And you can go ahead and also open other apps as well. So you have a cleaner home screen with easy access to grouped apps. It organizes your app without clutter and it adds a smooth and satisfying UI animation. Feature number five is where you can have moving background for your lock screen. So if you want your lock screen to look like a live wallpaper, the S25 Ultra allows you to set moving backgrounds that bring your screen to life with animated effects. So here we'll be using TikTok to find those videos and apply the moving background to your lock screen. So we'll go ahead and open up TikTok. In TikTok, we'll go ahead and tap on search. So go ahead and search for live wallpapers. Now go ahead and scroll through these videos and find your live wallpapers. So let's just say, for example, this one here. If you wanna set this as your live wallpaper for your lock screen, then go ahead and tap on share and then go ahead and tap on copy link. Now, once that's done, open up your Play Store, search for an app called Snap Tick. This basically lets you download TikTok videos without any watermark. Go ahead and install it. Once installed, open it. Go ahead and paste your link and then go ahead and download it. So we're gonna go ahead and download the video without any watermark. Go ahead and just watch this video and your video has been downloaded. So let's go ahead and view it. So as you can see, we have downloaded the video. Now, once that is downloaded, you wanna go ahead and open up your gallery. You wanna go ahead and find your video, which you downloaded. Now tap on the three dots and then tap on set as wallpaper. And you wanna go ahead and set this as our lock screen wallpaper. So go ahead and tap done. Now press okay. Now, when you go ahead and lock your screen and wake it up, you'll see that wallpaper on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So this gives your lock screen a fresh dynamic look. It's great for personal expressions from nature scenes to animated art, and it makes your phone feel more modern and alive. And that wraps up five awesome features on the Samsung S25 Ultra you should definitely try today. So which one was your favorite? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the Easy Tech Tutorial for more Samsung tips and tricks. Don't forget, we are on a journey to 1,000 subscribers, and I love to have you join our tech-savvy community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.